I just shared in my first um, video today uh, were given to Byron Sterl on August 9th about the final round and Allison Pound, a word given to her from the Lord on August 10th about the fall of America be beginning this fall. And this is from August 11th, but he received it from August 4th to August 11th um, to Jeff Byerly. When almost everyone has let their guard down, it will strike. So I'm going to share in this video his word that the Lord gave him. My son, write these words for those with ears to hear and eyes to see. In the coming days, there will be no more comfort except for in my presence. There will be no more, no earthly comfort for you, none. The things that you rely on now will not be. I tell you this not to bring fear, but so you can prepare and ready yourself. You must begin to ready yourselves by ridding yourselves of the things that you depend upon in this world. Do you rely on having a house to call home? I am your shelter. Do you depend upon your job to put food on your table? I am your provider. Do you rely on friends and family for love and acceptance? I love you so much more than any other and you accepted in the beloved. Do you rely on pills, prescriptions, and man-made medicine to ease your stress and anxiety from this evil world? I call all who are weak, weary, and heavy laden unto myself, and I will give you strength. Rest and I will take your heavy burden from you if you give it to me. Do you fear the things you see coming upon the earth and rely on your earthly weapons to defend you? Trust in me that I will protect those that I have called to do the harvest work and no harm will come to them. If you are reading this, you have been called. It is not a coincidence. Will you accept my call? I didn't know I had to click there for continue to read. Sorry. Um, let's see, I must be way up here. Uh, okay, so right here. No matter what you depend on besides me, you must humble yourself, surrender it, and give it to me. This must be done willingly, not grudgingly. Know that I always want what's best for you. I will give you grace and power <clears throat> overcome all if you allow me to. You must have faith in me alone. You must not put your faith in anything in this world because soon it will be taken away <clears throat> and all will burn. This earth is temporary for I'm going to make a new one. Behold, it is already done because I have spoken it. Children, listen to me. You must now start to prepare for things to change. Many of you have made spiritual and physical preparations and you think you are ready for what comes. But I tell you that you are not because you have never seen anything like what's coming. Though the th things that come will not happen all at once, they will happen very suddenly in an instant without any warning and the world will change in a moment. Yes, I have told you about this many times. It is the kickoff event. You are closer to it than you have ever been before. There are those who would mock and say, we have heard it all before. Where is it? I would say, and I want to pause there, have it, that's one of the things that the Lord revealed to me with the days of Noah, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be before this coming of the Son of Man, referring to Christ coming the second time. Um, not only was the world full of evil and everyone was doing what was right in their own eyes and had no care for holy things, but the Lord revealed to me that um, in those days, just like in today, they were mocking Noah and criticizing him for preparing for what was coming. And that's the same thing that even Christians, you know, will do to other Christians, on, especially here on YouTube or with blog posts. Um, if we give the warning like this from the Lord of what is coming so that people can be prepared mentally, physically, and spiritually, and they can seek the Lord in what they should do. Um, there's many that will mock us and say, oh, it's never going to happen. We're going to be out of here before anything happens. The rapture is going to happen first. You know, it's never going to happen. You know, God's never going to destroy everything and leave us here. We don't have to worry about the destruction coming or 
we don't believe it's ever going to happen, you know, and there'll never be a nuclear bomb that hits the United States and all this. So that's what the the Lord put on my heart a few days ago was that that was one of the things in the days of Noah, and it's happening today as well, is that there's mockers and scoffers saying that, you know, these these things will never happen, and they're not prepared, even some Christians. So I would also ask you that you pray and ask the Lord, you know, seek him in all things and see what it is that he would have you to do. And please heed his word. And we see it in the word of God that these things are going to happen. He told us in Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13, Revelation, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Peter, Daniel 12. All right. So again, his word says, there are those who would mock and say, we have heard it all before. Where is it? I would say to you, in a moment that you think not is when it will happen. When almost everyone has left their guard down, it will strike. And that's what the word tells us. Another interjection here. When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them. Okay. There always are those who ask, when will it be? I have told you already many times to be ready at all times. This is the way you must live your life. You must be in constant communication with me. And if you are not, you will not be ready. If you think in your heart that you will be ready at the last day or moment, you will not be. The time is now to be ready, not then. And I want to interject again um, because the word he gave me with a dream and I shared it like over a week ago. And it's in my videos. Look, just look back about six videos or so. Um, he told me that the time to prepare was over. So we're not in the preparation time anymore. We're moving into, you know, the actual, um, you know, beginning of sorrows. So the, the, there's no more time to prepare. Okay. So like... The word the Lord gave um, Jeff here, the time is now to be ready, not then. If your heart is in such that you want to hold on to your sin and then give it up at the last minute, you are in bondage and you will not be set free by me because your the intent, your heart is not right. I am the word and I am sharper than any two-edged sword could ever be because I divide the soul and the spirit between the soul and spirit. I see every thought and I know where it comes from. I know your heart better than you do. Do not ever try to hide anything from me. Do not try to be like Adam and hide your nakedness because I see it all. Why don't you just surrender to me? I am merciful and gracious and I understand and I died for you so that you would be not be bound by your sin. But many of you would not be set free because you hold on to it because it is what you know. But I say to you, I want you to know me. Oh, how it saddens me that you love your sin more than me. Ask yourself why. Don't you know that the wages of sin is death? Choose life. Choose me. Confess all your sin to me so I can put it under my blood and you will be freed from it. After you have been put down, after you have put down your sin and have given it to me, I'm your advocate when you stumble and you only must confess and repent and your sin will be covered by my blood when you ask for forgiveness. Children, you will not be perfect until you see me as I am in my fullness because then you will be like me. But until that, until then, you must press on towards the goal of the high calling of God, which is to be changed into my image. Once again, it is about the heart intent. Examine yourselves. My Holy Spirit that dwells within you will tell you the things that need to change in your heart. Do not grieve him. When he speaks to you, obey, for if you do not obey him, you are not obeying the law and all who break the law, the commandments. I'm sorry. If you do not obey him, you are not obeying the law and all who break the law, the commandments. Do not love me. He who sins willfully and habitually is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. All that is of the devil will be burned. I wish this on none of my creation, especially those created in my image. I made a way and none need perish, but you must die in this life 
and all things of the flesh in this earthly realm. You must die daily by picking up your cross, just as I carried the cross for you. I do not ask you to suffer as I did, for I took the punishment for the whole world. You will never know how excruciating it was. I suffered more than any man on earth ever has or ever will because of the sin. Of sin. Those in hell wish they had this choice now, but they have already made their choice, and they will join their father, the devil, in the lake of fire for eternity. My son, um, please, my, my pleas and warnings for you to give out are coming to an end, but you will do it for as long as I allow. The time of the great harvest starts when the calamities come, and many shall seek out my children. You shall lead them to me, and many shall be saved. Many more shall be led to destruction because they do not believe that I am who I say I am. And they will be given over to believe the lies of the enemy, even though all will be given the chance to believe in me. The belief that I speak of is in the heart and not the head. Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach.